Plasmodium bivex. Before this one in the video we have studied about its introduction. Now we are going to be the study about the Plasmodium bivex. We know that it is the parasite. It is the word parasite. Parasite stands for it obtains the nutrient or food from the living body. It obtains the food or nutrient matters from the living body. That's why it has given the name parasite. If you find out the organisms which provide the food to the parasite, it has given the name host. So we'll talk the latter, which is the host of the plasmodium. But first we talk about the which type of the parasite is the plasmodium bivex. The plasmodium bivex is an endoparasite. Is an endoparasite. Indo stands for inside, means it remains the inside the body of an organism or of a host. Inside the body of an organism or a host. That's why it has given the name Indoparasite. In the Indoparasite also, if you take that this one, this is a type of the digenetic parasite. It is a which type of parasite? Digenetic parasite. Di stands for the two. Di stands for two. It means plasmodium requires the two hosts to complete its life cycle. It requires two hosts to complete its life cycle. That's why it has given the name digenetic parasite. That's why it has given the name digenetic parasite because it requires the two hosts to complete its life cycle. Now, which host is there? The actually, it requires the two hosts. One is the human beings. One is the human beings. Another is the mosquito. That is the Anopheles mosquito. Anopheles mosquito. Now, according to rule, if you talk about the rule, so whatever the digenetic parasite happen, it has the two, two host. Three. So, according to rule, if you're talking, the, the host in which parasite perform the sexual reproduction. The rule, if you go through the rule, the rule is saying what? The host in which parasite perform the sexual reproduction such parasite host is called primary host for the parasite. It is called primary host or definitive host or definitive host. Whereas the parasite or the host in which parasite performs the asexual reproduction, in which perform the which reproduction? Or sexual reproduction, so this type of the host has given the name secondary host or intermediate host. Secondary host or intermediate host. So in the if you are talking in the plasmodium, in the case of the plasmodium, the in the human beings it uses to perform the asexual reproduction. It uses to perform asexual Whereas in the Anopheles mosquito, it performs the sexual reproduction. So according to this rule, the, the host in which parasite performs the sexual reproduction, that should be the primary host. So according to this rule, human beings should be the secondary, the Anopheles should be the what primary host. Whereas it is the applicable only in the medical science, but in the general education, what we are taking, we are taking human being is not as a primary host it is the secondary host in which it performed the sexual production so that host will be the primary host so by the rule of the plasmodium anopheles should be the primary host it is the applicable in the medical science where the we are studying but in the general education in general biology what happened we are taking the human being is taken as the primary host, whereas plasmodium performing the asexual production, but it is taken as the what happened? It is 
taken as primary host in the general education over there. Whereas anophilis, according to rule, it should be the primary, but in case of the plasmodium, it is the not the primary, it is the secondary host. It is the secondary host. But according to rule, anophilis should be the primary host because plasmodium performing the sexual reproduction here. Yes, in the human beings, according to rule, plasmodium performing the asexual, so it should be the secondary, but it is not the secondary, it is the taken as the primary host. We can take it is an exception case. So this is the applicable over there. Okay. Now we are talking it's about habit and habitat. Now we are talking to about the habit and habitat. So in the habit and habitat, we know that plasmodium is the endoparasite. Endoparasite, it is the its habit. Now if you talk about the habitat, it is the digenetic parasite. So it requires the two hosts to complete its life cycle. So its one host is the human being. So in the human being, if you search it, so you can get in the two place. Parenchyma cell of the liver and it found in the RBC. Yes. So if you want to search the plasmodium vivax, so in the human beings, if you are searching, it can be found in the two place, either in the liver or in the RBC. Whereas in the anophilis mosquito, in the anophilis, as you know that only there is the word male mosquito doesn't depend upon the blood of the animals. So only female anophilis contain it. So in the female anophilis, if you find out, the you can get either in the wall of a stomach, in the wall of the stomach and in the salivary gland. So its habitat means we can get at the four place. If you search in the human beings, which is the its primary host in the liver and RBC, whereas in the anophilis, it can be found in the wall of the stomach and in the salivary gland. This is the its habitat. habitat. 